Well, Jordi, I guess firstly, congratulations on the move, a historic move. When was the deal actually signed and how did you decide that Belgium was the best place for you? Um, I, I signed, I think it was oh, a week ago, close to a week ago, but um, after that I started to get some things done, like some medicals and stuff, but I think it was really official a couple of days ago, so yeah, and I think the, the Belgium League um, just, I think, suits me and I think it's a good, good stepping stone, uh, get my face in Europe and uh, yeah, I think it's a good, good step for my career. What have Westerloo told you about why they wanted you and what sort of role they see you playing um, in their squad next season and possibly beyond? Um, I think Westerloo uh, like like the way I play, how my, my attacking qualities and also uh, defensively as well. But um, I think uh, yeah, they they just want me to to continue to do uh, what I do here and uh, help them out as well. Walk us through this process surrounding your move, Jordy. Obviously, rumours have been swirling that you were off to somewhere in yeah. Europe for quite a while, numerous clubs linked with you. Just how many clubs actually were making contact with you or your representatives and, you know, what sort of leagues and clubs are we talking about? To be fair, uh, I, I'm not even too sure myself. Uh, my, my dad and my agent did a good job filtering out and just coming to me with, with the the ones that they saw fit and yeah I agree with them so some of some of the rumors that you guys probably saw I, I saw at the same time as you so yeah just looking at my phone and oh another, another rumor but yeah did you get on the phone with dad or John Ramon <laughs> yeah my god Man City uh, uh, yeah nah, that, that was one of them that I just I, I looked at my phone and uh, apparently I'm going Man City but uh, yeah well you, you mentioned there that your dad and your agent sort of filtered the, some of the interest that was coming in to what suited you. What were your priorities when you moved to Europe? What were the things that were important to you when you were picking your next destination? Um, I think something that's really important to me and obviously my, my dad and my agent was, was to get minutes and game time as, as much as possible. So I think Westlow gives me that opportunity and in a, in a good team, in a good league. So. Uh, gives me yeah the best best chance of of success there I think. How would you describe this journey, Jordy? This journey, Jordy. Um, obviously, you started a few games last season that you've really come into this, your own. This campaign starting, I think, all but one game for a team that's just gone out and won the three Peter Premiership. So not an easy team to break into, and now. Uh, move to Europe alongside a Socceroos debut. Just how do you sum up this past 12 months? Yeah, it's it's been been uh, stepping stone after stepping stone and milestone after milestone. So it's just been been amazing. Um, yeah, just just thrilled and uh, to be fair, yeah, just haven't hasn't really sunk in yet. And I think it's just moved so fast uh, from from two years ago, just only training A League, no, not even on the bench to to last season, uh, getting getting a couple games and then yeah, this season playing playing pretty much all of them. So it's just, yeah, moved so fast and making my soccer as they do as well. So it's been, been an amazing season for me, I think. Well, why do you think it's gone, suddenly started, you know, going so fast? What have you, what's clicked? What's gone right? Uh, I, th I think it's just all come together a bit. Everything's lined up, lined up for me. Um, just, yeah, all the, all the training, all the effort I've put in the past has finally started paying off here and yeah, just got, got a couple of opportunities and I think I took them, so, yeah. Do you have any questions for Yeah, no, I was going to ask you, um, in recent history, we've seen Liberato Picace and also Jason Davidson move from the A-League to the Belgian Pro League. Is this potentially something that you should be more confident seeing you know, those players move and being quite successful moves? Yeah, yeah, um, knowing that some, some Aussies has, have been there in the past and they've done well there has given me a little bit of confidence, but I think um, even if that hadn't happened, I think it was still a good move for me. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, regardless, uh, I, I would be confident going there. Yeah, and then also for Vestalo, obviously this season they've had uh, Maxim de Kuiper, who's been their left back on loan from Bruges, yeah. and he's been particularly successful going forward. Does that provide you a lot of confidence seeing the big success he's had in that specific team? 
yeah, yeah, he's he's been one of their standouts this season. So I think um, they're going over there. We've got some shoes to fill as well. But knowing that, yeah, they they um like their fullbacks and like they play around their fullbacks a little bit is is really good for me as well. So I'm I'm involved in their their squad a lot more. You mentioned Socceroos making your debut for there. You played minutes. Graham Arnold has been very vociferous in his desire to see his players get minutes um, with their clubs. Did you seek any advice from him? Talk to him before you made this move. Um, not 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 really to be honest. But um, yeah, I've I've had a lot of a lot of people um, give their their opinions on it as well, and I've sought a lot of advice from from others as well. So. I think, uh, yeah, going to other people and getting their, their views on it as well has really made me confident in, in this decision. Who were some of those other people that you sourced views from? You had a pretty star-studded teammate uh, locker room there to call upon. Who were some of the people that you spoke to? Uh, just, yeah, uh, to be fair, some of them just came up to me as well. Uh, Valon loves, loves to yeah, get, get, tell me um, some advice. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's one of the boys that ha has a lot of confidence in me, in me as well. A lot of the European boys as well, Thomas, and yeah, a lot of the big names have, have also um, just told me the same thing. Just go somewhere where you get minutes. Um, don't, don't look at the paycheck, just look at the, the, uh, your availability and how, how you will fit into that team. Because if you go somewhere, uh, too big, you might get lost there. So I think this is yeah, good. And momentous day today, but you know, the work still continues here at Melbourne City. You've got second leg of an elimination final on Friday, potentially a grand final after that. How do you sort of, I guess, compartmentalise what this massive moment for you in your personal career is while still focusing on Sydney FC and either Central Coast or Adelaide potentially after that? Yeah, um, I, I think I did pretty well keeping myself uh, grounded and um, focused. So I don't think all this um, outside things are going to affect me too much. But yeah, as I said, I don't think it's completely sunk in anyway. So um, that makes it pretty easy to, to concentrate on the here and now and get, get some results the next couple of games. I'm focusing first on Friday. How do you think the boys are shaping up for that game uh, against Sydney 1-1? Yeah, well, the return tie at home. Yeah, the boys are looking good. Very, very hungry and keen. So it'll be a good game and, yeah, get the result. And then heading into June, we, we know there's talk about the Socceroos potentially playing Argentine. Press has reported that there's a game against the defending world champions, um, Argentina, in the offing. Couldn't help but notice you weren't named in the Oli Roos squad that was announced the other day that you are eligible for. Does that mean that we might be seeing you in green and gold again next month? Um, uh, not not too sure to be honest. I think um, yeah, just just have to figure out um, uh, what, what's what's going on with me with the the Belgian team and um, get over there and settle myself in um, and yeah. Obviously, I, it's an honour always playing for Australia and stuff, but I think, uh, yeah, it's important for me to, to settle into to Westerlo and in, in Belgium, new lifestyle and everything. So. Jordan, just your uh, message to the Melbourne City fans who will be watching you for the last time on Friday night. How important could they be against Sydney FC? What, what was that? Your message to the Melbourne City fans who will be uh, watching you for the last time and how important could they be against Sydney FC? Yeah, um, yeah, the fans are really important. Um, the, yeah, the, the years of support, especially to me throughout my, my career here, um, yeah, they've been great. And hopefully uh, on Friday I, I get to say my, my goodbyes. Maybe not for the last time, but uh, ho hopefully for a while. And yeah, it would be great, great to see them. And not just me, but give their support to the rest of the boys as well, heading into the, yeah, the finals. Beautiful. Cheers, guys. Cheers.